I am pretty sure you have used the conditional formatting feature in Power BI. But have you ever thought about creating such slicers, which can dynamically change the color properties? Let's create this amazing feature from the scratch. Here I'm inside a new PBX file, and I have created this matrix visual, showing total sales for each brand by month name. This is the usual Contoso dataset. Before I start creating my dynamic color control solution, let me show you the basic conditional formatting options. From here, I can enable the basic conditional formatting feature, or I can click on FX and then apply different measure or field-based logics to set dynamic color to the background or the font. But since we need to provide a functionality, which will provide flexibility to the report users to dynamically change the color properties, like hue, saturations, lightness or opacity, we will use a different approach to achieve that. We will use HSLA color coding with some other tricks. This is nothing but the extension of HSL color values. So this is hue, saturation, lightness, and the alpha or opacity. We will bring these slicers into our Power BI report so that users will have the flexibility to dynamically adjust the colors. I will also need this logic called as normalization, especially this formula. Don't worry, I will explain these things in a while. But before that, let me create my slicers using numeric parameters. From the modeling tab, click on numeric parameter. I can name this parameter as hue. This can have values anything between 0 to 360. So I will set it accordingly. Set the default value as 120. Add slicer to the page and click on create. This will give the flexibility to select the parameter. This way, I can create my other slicers. Saturation and lightness are decimal values starting from 0 to 1, which are formatted in percentage format. Alpha value is between 0 to 1 with single decimal format. All right, now I will create two measures. The first measure name is ranking sales. Here you will need to create the ranking depending on your requirements. Since I want to format for each row, I will create ranking for each brand sales value on different months. If you want, you can create based on whole data or different logics. Let us add this measure in this visual and verify if this is calculating the correct ranks or not. As that you can see, this is calculating correct ranking for each brand's total sales in different months. For example, December month sales for this brand is rank one. I don't need to add this measure in this visual. Till here, nothing is new. And I can apply dynamic conditional formatting using this measure but I need to make use of these slicers to change the colors from the front. For that, I will create my master DAX measure. This measure name I can keep as dynamic formatting. My first variable will store the dynamic values of hue. At the starting of this video, I was talking about this normalization. This is nothing but a scaling technique method in which data points are shifted and rescaled so that they end up in a range of zero to one. Here X will be represented by my ranking measure. X min is minimum rank and X max will be the maximum rank. Back to the DAX expression. I know that my minimum rank is 1 and max rank is 12 because I am ranking based on months. But if you have different logic, you need to calculate the max and min rank in the context. Earlier, I have posted videos about creating such dynamic ranking and getting its min or max ranks for highlighting the min and max data points. If you want to know how to do that, you can check that out. You can find the video link in the description. All right. I have multiplied this normalized value with the selected value of the hue. And I can also apply round up to zero decimal because hue will have only integer values. In my return statement, I need to return a string concatenation of all the slicer selected dynamic values. The first string is HSLA, then my variable, which has normalized values for hue. And then I can continue with other slicer selected values. When we create a numeric parameter, it automatically creates a measures for its selected value or default value, which we can use here with required formatting. If you want to check out the output of this measure, you can simply drag this in a card visual. Verify that it is showing in correct format. You can also add this measure into your matrix visual and verify that it is rendering correct values based on the selections from the slicers or not. Again, I don't need this measure in the visual, so I will remove this. Select the visual, go to the formatting section, search for cell element, and then apply the formatting for background or font. 
or both. Formatting style will be based on the field value, and I will select my dynamic formatting measure here. With that, I am ready with the solution. All my slicers will interact with this visual and will change the color properties. I can publish this report to Power BI service and start sharing it to other users. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for many such interesting videos on Power BI.